Well, good day my friends. We're coming to you from just outside Detroit, Michigan. Today we're going to explore Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum. The lovely Katie is here as well. Hello! We're expecting and feeling some sprinkling and rain, but we also noticed there's a little fun forecast out here. If the stone is wet, it's raining. If the stone's dry, it's not raining. It's cracked stone lightning. Shout on the ground, sunny. I love it. <laughs> If the stone's gone, tornado. Nothing nicer anywhere. This place is incredible. Look at all this. There is stuff everywhere, including... <laughs> it's not Zoltar exactly, but... Oh, this is cool, the electric chair. I saw this in uh, like a haunted house in Ohio and they wouldn't let you film it. Maybe I'll do it here. Spider Woman. Oh, look at all the figures they have here. Uh-oh, auto wed. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, an alien fortune teller. Look at this. We're just entering. These are all, so they have everything from photo booths to fortune tellers. Ask the brain. They have all the old carnival type games, all the there's the shooting games. There's Robert Wadlow down here for some reason. See the entire... What's this? The entire life of Robert Wadlow for 50 cents. The Laughing Sailor. These are like the old classic, like Coney Island, the old pier type games. The Levitation Man. All right, let's get a bunch of quarters. Okay, I think this will get us started. Got 10 bucks here. Look at that. Big Marvin's used furniture. The top hat up there. They got Marvelous Marvin's band, the monkey band up here. Looks like this is on some sort of rotating belt that we can make the planes fly overhead. This is incredible. Okay, let's check out this one. I'm winding, I'm winding. All the eyes are slowly coming up, I think. Oh, he's waking up. <laughs> I did it for part of the time, then she took over. How awesome. No, not at all. Now we gotta do this one. You put your hand up here for the cobra. Let's do it, honey. Come on. You do it. Come on. This is what I invited you for. <laughs> Come on. Put your hand up there. No, it's going to shock me. No, it won't. Yes, it will. Why would it do that? No. All right. Come you on. Do I'll do it. it. You do it. I don't see anything happening yet. Wow, behind their counter. You can actually get cotton candy here, that's cool. And take a photo with a big buffalo head, but I was amazed by the gigantic Humpty Dumpty behind the counter. This place is fantastic. Let's try this one. So he's got some sort of hand deal. We're gonna have to put our hand in here. Give him some money. Welcome. I am the great chopper. Move your fingers, my golden corn pit, while I summon up my mystical power. He cut off my hand. This one says the disgusting spectacle. Let's see what he's gonna do.
I'm not seeing much of a talent yet. I think his hand was supposed to go up and pick his nose, but he didn't do anything. So let's try this one. What the heck? <laughs> Louis the Love Shrinks Love Shack. Honey, let's do it. Let's see what Louis thinks. All right. 50 cents, go for it. All right, unfortunately that one doesn't work, but this one it says welcome to the manor Undertaker till death do us part and it's a big casket. Go ahead and feed that sweetheart. See what happens. I see a mirror up here on the front of the casket Look in the mirror You supposed to pull the door or what I'm not sure what happens We're gonna try a handful of these machines and see what happens. Like, see what this Chinese guy, what this wisdom man has to say. A little more shame here. Ah, paying customer. Come see his answers to your questions. Well, let me ask you a question first. How would you like to be cooped up all day in a box without bathroom? I'm sorry. You were looking for some words of wisdom. Yes. yes. How about this? You will achieve great success. All you need is hard work, perseverance, and a large inheritance. Hey -o. Hey -o. The Earl Skakel ending. You want more? You think Master Chin is human fortune cookie? All right. I will give you one more pearl of wisdom. If you promise to go away, do not use bathrooms here. Mom and have funny things all over walls. Make you number one all over your pants. Get <laughs> over now. Come back and see me later, okay? Okay. A marriage late in life will be based not on passion, but a calm, even affection and will result in your complete happiness. Up here we have the Charlie McCarthy band. Oh my God, it's I know, I just noticed, I was like, hey, let's go ahead and do the Laughing Sailor, but then I was like, why has Brett the Hitman Hart signed a photo and put it next to, it says, uh, what every man must do before he takes a poo, and then apparently Brett was playing this. Well, let's we'll see what happens. Um, shocking, revealing, amazing, okay. <laughs> yeah, you have to pull your pants down, duh. Right on the bottom of it, it looks like Hillary Clinton was here too. All right, now the laughing sailor, one of my faves. He's got a bee on his nose. This is your favorite? This is nightmare fuel, Jordan. All right, now we gotta do Old King Cole. We looked at this one a little bit ago. How cool is this place? I mean, they have a lot of cool machines. Not all of them are working, but the ones that are working are great. Even a little carousel. Plus look at all the freaking pinball. Whoa, look above us. Wow. Look at all the characters. There's even more up here. There's like a whole band. This 
Spanish Inquisition. This is a good one. Wait a minute, look at that. It says this disgusting face was part of a game called Poison the Rat, circa 1942. Oh, look at this. They're lashing this guy. That guy's getting stretched back there. This guy, they're like beating and branding. Good grief. Mom, can I have a quarter to play with a game? Made in 1936. Yeah, look at that one back there. Dimples. Yeah, Dolly Dimples. Mandrake, the greatest of great illusionists. <laughs> This is sawing her in half. Whoa, whoa! What a trick. We saw the Spanish Inquisition, now let's see the English execution. Nothing, nothing yet. Oh. There we go. Says incredible. Let's see how incredible it is. Oh, come on now. Whoa! Oh. Scott Michaels fuel. Two headed naked baby. Oh, good golly. Good golly. I wonder if this is for sale for our pal Scott. He would love this in his bedroom. Wow. <laughs> that is definitely incredible, all right. This one says, come into my parlor. Cure your fear of spiders, wimp. And then there's this guy, and then there's a little hand piece where you put your hand in. So I'm gonna beg Katie to do that while I feed him full of money. Man, why do I have to do these ones? <laughs> Whoa! That was cool. <laughs> Did you like that one? Let's see what Marvin's lunchtime is like. Look at him go. Eating like maniacs. That's so cool. Turkey dinner. <laughs> How cool. I love this kind of stuff. This place is awesome. Do you like it, Katie? I love it. This is so cool. Oh, I mentioned those airplanes that were clearly overhead that move at some point. They're moving. This is rad. We have more little machines to check out over here. All right, we just gave the Merlin the Magician some money. Let's see if he... Oh, there we go. Uh, 
Alright, show us some magic. Make it disappear. Look at his eyes. Amazing. He's even got the shifty eyes continuing. He's like, oh, you're not impressed? How about one more thing? One more thing. Ah, eh, forget both of you. Maybe I won't do one more thing. Maybe I will. Oh, it's a bird now. Yes. You made new fans today, my friend. Wow, I thought we had seen pretty close to everything. We haven't even seen a fraction of it. Wow. What is this, this time machine looking thing over here? <laughs> wow, this is incredible. Wow, the hot air balloon. got to try this one she is actually part of this Look at this. Vibratory doctor. Some sort of odd Mr. Peanut up here. He's got all kinds of like little games and candy machines. There's a little bit of everything. Look at this. Wally and Wanda, the polka babies. Oh, let's give her a try. Let's see what they look like. <laughs> I bet the crusher looked like that back in Wisconsin. I know. Grab yourself a 260 pounder and throw her through a wall. <laughs> this is made in the 1930s. They've been stuck on that for a little while. What do you think they're doing? I don't know, but they look happy. <laughs> so I'm noticing with this one, I was like, what do you do here? Because he's got like two things he's on to do. Actually, what you do is you hold on to this. It's got like a freaking hand. You're supposed to pull on it. Except the problem is, it only takes a penny, and I guarantee you, there's no way they have a machine here that only works on a penny. So it's not working. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> the Cardiff Giant, one of history's huge hoaxes. Look at this guy. Wow, supposedly a petrified man, a remnant of a lost race that roamed the state of New York 2,000 years ago. Actually, a figure carved in stone and treated with acid to give it age, buried and discovered on a farm near Cardiff, New York. P.T. Barnum exhibited this figure as genuine and even after the secret leaked out he did a land office business with it of course he did wow the card of giant had no idea it was here smurfs ride oh yeah oh let's see what the uh what kind of treat the monkey gives us please not not 
Who's there? Monkey. Monkey who? Monkey won't fit. That's why I'm not. <laughs> Give me my egg. Hope you like your toy. Hey, come here and play with me. I got my own hey, robot son to start my own master race. I can grow robot Katie and Jordan children. Looks like Lucy back there. Some bumper cars. Oh, I love this song, Runaway. <laughs> I don't see a whole lot of moving. I don't see a whole lot of bumping, baby. They got a they got a log jam going on down here. Free yourself! Free yourself! Oh, here we go, here we go. I saw no movement, I saw nothing. Is that Lucy back there? That is supposed to be Lucy. And Elvis on top of the car? They, none of them moved. Let's try it again, none of them moved. I think they're all jammed, they're all stuck. Yeah. Well, some work, some don't. Let's try this one. All the drunkers. Look at the guy with the bulging eyes. I don't think the player piano works, but look at that. It's got like a woman's legs coming out of the top of it. Oh, this place is so cool. It's a bummer some of the machines don't work, but for the most part, this place is just absolutely wonderful. There's stuff everywhere to look at. You can never probably possibly see it all. Burt Reynolds was here? Wow. There's his autograph. <laughs> oh, it's got a little camera. Oh, that's hilarious. You love Burt Reynolds. I do. Robert Wadlow. Look at the monkeys going crazy down here. Ah! <laughs> The ones in the back are pretty lazy. They don't do much. Nothing will beat Burt Reynolds after that, though. Robert Wadlow. Oh, look at this little gum machine. That is so cool. It looks like Harpo Marks in there. One gent delivers a tasty chew. You could get, there was your flavor options right there. Let's do it. All right. See what Uncle Sam has to say. Break his hand. Ho! Oh. Patriotic. I am so jacked up on America. See that, see that wooden chain? It says hand carved by Daniel Boone. You go to. Marvin's great granddaddy out of one 48 foot piece of wood. That's a penny machine. I don't have any pennies on me, but it's kind of cool. You drop the penny in up there, then it falls on one of the little big wheel, and then eventually they drop off over here, and then they drop out here, and you get some money. I don't need any pennies though. Back here, what is this? I'm coming back to the bathrooms. We got. Guinness Book of World Records long neck, and then some creepy clown. Coney Island uh, fun mirror. Look at you, Katie. Oh, bummer, this one doesn't work. You flatten it, it flattens a dime. It's a little train setup. 
And then I was hoping this one would. This was like another little machine. And this one's a burglar breaking in while a guy's sleeping, trying to rob him while he's asleep. That is awesome, Houdini stuff. Eminem was here. Now this is a drunken sailor. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? Give him a quarter, find out. The guy looks like Abraham Lincoln get drunk. What the heck do we have here? This is amazing. It's so cool. Fun you can have with $10 and quarters. I mentioned I had seen one of these before. They wouldn't let me film it. It was a full size or this is a little bit smaller, but the man getting electrocuted. <laughs> Let's try this alien one right here. There we go. There's he actually took a dollar. It's not easy being free. Having to spend each day the color of leaves. When I think it could be nicer being red. Or something much more colorful like that. It's not easy being green. Sure glad the army invested their it's money into this. With so many other ordinary things. And people tend to pass you over. Because you're not standing out like flashy sparkles in the water. Or stars in the sky. He must have went to the fair. Oh, he's been drinking. All right, let's try and feed this chicken. I don't know what you do here, but it says 50 cents. Let's give her a try. Oh, is it tic-tac-toe? Ah! 
I want to win. Quit it, cheater. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna block him. We got no winners here. Never really liked tic-tac-toe because too many games end in no winner, I think. What? You want dancers? Well, grab hold and never see the light screaming and the light. It seems you will develop an allergy to the odors and become a very private person. So, that's you. You better thank the lucky stars that drastically has bumped you. <laughs> now, you'll see you Anyway, all I'm getting is that it says you have to have your carpet clean. So splurge, money bag. That or wipe your feet. <laughs> Didn't your mother teach you anything? <laughs> now, why are you still standing here? Bad jokes. Yes, I've got other customers out here, you know. Next. I think it would be appropriate to end our last 50 cents with Robert Wadlow watching his life story. Too bad Charlie Chaplin up here doesn't work. I think they're going to tell us that Robert Wadlow was a space invader. He measured six feet at eight years old. His growing power seemed uncontrolled. And when he got to just nine years, he carried his palm to the top of his head. At 15, he stood seven foot eight. He measured a whole foot long. After 22 years, he went into decline. His coffin measured 10 feet nine. But I like the music. <laughs> All Scott and I went there. Well, our first time here, what did you think of this place? This is so fun. You could spend hours in here. Yeah, we spent like very little money and had a lot of fun. We were here for like an hour. We actually didn't even play any video games or pinball or anything. We were just going around checking out all the funky little machines. Mm -hmm. Fun times. This was great. What an awesome stop. I'm so glad I stumbled upon this place. I found it. I had it saved in my maps of places to go next time I was in Michigan. I knew this was perfect for Katie. So we had a great time just outside of Detroit. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great night and goodbye.